Uh, sorry, it's not minus one, it's minus two. So, last time we spent the whole lecture investigating this photon, today we're going to investigate this photon. First of all, how, do you, how are you going to determine chemical potential? So, that's actually the problem where some of you were confused uh, by in the quiz. So, let me ask first for the case of the fermions. How do I figure out what the value of chemical potential is? So, find the number of particles. Number of particles, very good. So what I know is the total number of particles equal to capital N. And what is the total number of particles? It's sum over Nk. So in the case of fermions, for bosons it will be slightly different, but let's do fermions first. Beta epsilon k minus mu. Okay. Plus one. So this is equation which involves beta, mu, and n. So I can invert this equation to find mu as a function of n and beta. So this is a problem which many of you had with the last question in the quiz. You did not invert the relation. It's crucial that you have to invert the relation because uh, you have to express everything in terms of the number of particles. But this is a normalization condition. And this normalization condition allows you to determine chemical potential as a function of number of particles and temperature. No? It's not clear? Okay, so, so think about it. Uh, what do I have here? This is a function of temperature and chemical potential. So my right hand side is a function of temperature and chemical potential. My left hand side is a function of n. So I have a relation between three numbers mu, 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 beta, and n. I can always solve it for you. I'm not saying it's easy to do in practice, but at least in principle it's good. OK, so, so this is the fermion case. And um, notice that, just to finish with fermions, uh, we can take a limit of classical theory. So what happens in classical theory? Classical theory means that beta, epsilon k minus mu, is much bigger than 1. For those of you who took uh, quantum mechanics, this should be familiar. For those of you who have not taken quantum mechanics, remember when we justified semi-classical approximation. We said semi-classical approximation is where energy is large. So if energy is large, so this is temperature, it gives you some scale. Energy has to be large compared to something. Because energy is dimensional for parameter. You cannot say that energy is much bigger than one. You have to construct dimensionless quantity. Right? Energy could be bigger than five joules, but it cannot be bigger than one. So you have to construct dimensionless quantity, which is this. And large energy means that dimensional quantity is large. D dimensionless quantity is large. So this is dimensionless. It makes sense to say it's bigger, much bigger than one. This could be equal to 50, 70, 100, and so on, but it's a number. So it's much bigger than one. And if you, uh, this number is much bigger than one, you can neglect this one. If this is 50, this one can be neglected. If this is 50, this one can be neglected. This formula become identical. And then your e, uh, mu, sorry, n is equal to minus beta epsilon k minus mu. And what is the name of this? This formula has a name. This distribution has a name. This is called Bose Einstein distribution. This is Boltzmann, isn't it? This is Boltzmann. Uh, you probably saw it in a slightly different way. You saw it like this. It's normalized. It's not, this is normalized, but just chemical potential here. So instead of having the normalization function as a partition function, I have it as a chemical potential. This two are related. They are related, exactly. So this formula should be familiar. So this is just another way of rewriting it, but instead of writing things in terms of the chemical potential, you write it in terms of the partition function, you write it in terms of chemical potential. But it's the same thing. 
Okay, so now uh, in the case of uh, bosons, uh, you have to rewrite it, but in the case of bosons, uh, you will have the similar equation for the chemical potential. Just a minus sign. Yes, uh, so what does it mean intuitively? Suppose you have a lot of electrons somewhere. Then electrons at some point are going to behave like particles. Okay. Uh, okay, so think about it. Uh, uh, if, if when you first learn about electron, you say that electron is flying through space. You just think about it as classical particle which has a trajectory. After all, that's how electrons are absorbed. Uh, you could see some um, uh, bubble chambers Electron goes in and it produces bubbles. So uh, if energies of particles are very large, they behave like classical particles. Otherwise, Newton's laws will be useless. Uh, but if energy, if, if particles become intrinsically quantum, which in this case means that this relation is violated, then these uh, quantum effects become important. You can think of this minus one as quantum effects. Plus or minus one as quantum. Questions? So as we said, for fermions, there was at zero temperature, there was a step function. For bosons, it's something else. And what is it for bosons? So suppose I have these boxes. How can I make at zero temperature, the system wants to minimize its energy? Why is that? Remember what system wants to do in general. System in general wants to minimize free energy. Remember uh, thermodynamics. We said that if you have an isolated system, it's going, uh, no, it's not isolated. If you have a system in contact with uh, some reservoir, so it maintains, it's maintained at, fine, at fixed temperature, then this free energy will be minimized. Does it ring the bell? So if you have a system which is isolated, then entropy is going to be maximum. If you have a system which doesn't talk to anything, the entropy will be maximum. If system is maintaining thermal equilibrium, which means that it's ex constantly exchanges heat, but it's maintaining fixed temperature, then free energy is minimized. So, this is what's going to happen in general. Now suppose T is equal to zero. If T is equal to zero, you don't have this term. Then, at T equals to zero, minimization of free energy is the same as minimization of mechanical energy. Which is very reasonable. That's what you remember from mechanics. If I have some potential, and I ask, and I put a ball, and I say where the ball is going to end up, it's going to end up here. At the place with the minimum possible energy. So th this, this relation is just generalization of this fact which you knew all along from your uh, uh, classical mechanics to the case where there's a temperature. But if you want to switch off temperature, you're back to classical mechanics. Does that make sense? Does anything really ever go to zero, though, for temperature? Uh, you well, can force it to, but it's not going to stay that way. So. Yes, uh, so what is zero? Zero really means that this becomes much smaller. Okay. So something going to zero means something is small, but you have to say compared to what? Right. And here is the comparison. So it's, it's an opposite limit. This okay. is of a classical limit, and the zero temperature limit is a very quantum limit. Okay. And you already saw it in the case of the... Um, uh, fermions. In the case of fermions, we saw that these terms were dominated. Right. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so then, given that, where would you expect your system to end up? So if I have this system of 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 5, uh, and 9 particles, where do you expect these particles to end up? Just one minute, draw the diagram. So I have energies, so it's my energy levels. Let me draw it vertically. One, two, three. So I have four energy levels. And I have, let's say, six particles. Please let me draw the configuration so the energy goes up. Or the minimum possible energy. Energy goes up. Mm. Yeah. Bosons. Bosons can't. Bosons. We're doing bosons. 60 level one. 60 level one. Because there's a boson, so the one energy level can become dead as much particles as possible.
What? Draw that diagram. Where are those particles going to go as energy increases? I thought it was decreased temperature goes 